What's up, YouTube? I'm Wes Russell, the Wednesday member of Sing Quain, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself today. Alright, so right off the bat, there's a couple things you should know about me. One, my favorite color is blue. I use awesome more than any other word in the English language. I think Pokemon was the greatest game ever invented by man. I'm awesome. And for the rest, I want to show you my bedroom. Alright, so welcome to the Dormitorio de Oeste. Totally forgot the light. There we go. Alright, so first thing you should notice is my wall of TWB. And I'll cover TWB later, but basically it was the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. And I have literally hundreds of pictures from there, but like a hundred of them are on the wall. I also have two letters written to me by my two of my best friends from TWB on there, as well as the brochure for TWB. I also have this Voice of Democracy thing I'm supposed to do, but haven't yet got around to it because I have other college stuff and it's taking precedence. Over here. I have my Captain Gown order sheet for some reason. I have my Psych the Musical poster, which is awesome. I have my Mr. South Point brochure, which I did with my friend Clay, where we sang Man or Muppet, as made famous by Walter and uh, Jason Segal. Over here, I have my Raiders Creed from the football team, and I have my Murphy's Law sheet, which is awesome. A bird in the hand is safer than one overhead. Over here, I have my brochure from Ridge Baptist, where somewhere on there, I think it's here, nope, I am mentioned for speaking. Over here, you see one of the two speech co speeches I wrote for the oratorical contest, right here. You'll see another list of TWB rules. Here is one of my three Albert Einstein posters. There I have my crest. I have a map of the solar system for some reason. I have my scripture. I have my comfy leather chair I usually use for laundry. I have my ginger superman cape on top of my... No, it didn't really reveal. It's a Willie West Side sign. Over here, I have my artsy poster, my Carolina Panthers poster, my American flag, my bookshelves, which are littered because I believe that all books are equal, and so organizing them would mean that one took precedence over the other, and I don't believe in that. Over here, I have my little mini dresser I just used to put stuff on top of. I have some firecrackers, which I haven't used in three years. I have my bed, which is perpetually unmade, and I have my night my nightstand. You see my Duke poster, the two pictures I took of when celebrities actually tweeted back at me, including Bruce Campbell, who was awesome. Everyone go follow him. Over here, I have my second Albert Einstein poster. I have the thing my friend painted for me. I have the Bru Blues Brothers poster. I have my Halo poster, my Guitar Hero poster, my Led Zeppelin poster, my other Led Zeppelin poster, my three Chuck Norris posters, my NASCAR poster, and my third Albert Einstein poster. For the rest, there is my closet, there is my dresser, complete with Lilo, which is a long story. I have my computer monitor, which is useless, my other camera, and for the rest, I'm going to take you out onto the roof. Hey YouTube, so due to an unfortunately time storm, I can't go on the roof right now, so instead, I'm going to hang out in my game room and tell you a little bit more about me. First off, like I said before, I am a member of the South Point football team. I also swim, technically competitively, although my nickname is The Rock on the team because I happen to sink when I try and swim. My favorite word is awesome, and I love being awesome because that's awesome, and I think that to be awesome, you have to make a choice to do the awesome thing in every situation. The awesome thing, I believe, is choosing A, to make people happy with what you do, and B, to try and lift people up all the time. Even with things like buying Heelys, which I actually did at 17 years old, I think that's awesome because it makes people smile and happy, even if they're they're only making fun of you. I love public speaking. I gave a 30 minute sermon this Sunday, which I guess is two days ago. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this, but Wednesday when you see it. So either two or three days ago, depending on how you look at it. Anyways, it was awesome. I gave a 30 minute sermon on love and I said sex in a church that I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to say sex in, which is fantastic because I laughed and it was great and I think everyone really enjoyed it. I'm technically legally handicapped. I have a rare disease called leg calf perthes disease and I had a bilateral, which is even more rare. I'm not going to go into much detail because I don't like to talk about it because it really doesn't bother me that much. I do like to brag and call myself technically legally handicapped because I play football and that makes me happy. My favorite TV show is Psych, followed by Scrubs. They are hilarious and I think that if I was more like Sean Spencer, my life would go a lot better. My favorite book is Beautiful Creatures, with the subsequent series being my favorite series of all time. I actually don't have Beautiful Creatures number one right now because I lent it, lent it to my friend a couple months ago. So if you're watching this, please give my book back. One of the things I take my most pride in is my Twitter page. It is hilarious and amusing and I use it to build people up. And so I'm going to leave a link in the description below, so follow me on Twitter if you will. 
My favorite author right now is John Green for writing Paper Towns. Most people like TFOs best, although I'm only halfway through TFOs right now, and I can honestly attest that I don't think it'll ever touch Paper Towns in terms of which is my favorite. When I was a kid, I grew up wanting to be Ron Weasley. As it turns out, there's not many ginger heroes out there, and Ron Weasley is probably the best. Alright, so not to sound uninteresting, but this is where I'm going to end it today. So thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, and make sure to tune in tomorrow for Austin, who's going to have a really, 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 really awesome update tomorrow.